hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video i will show you a step by step guide to connect your whatsapp through twilio to open ai uh, chat completion api and we will use replit platform so that we don't have to worry about deploying the code as well in this tutorial we will use python programming language and we will create python flask server so let's get started in order to follow this tutorial you must have accounts with three things first you need to have account with replit twilio here you need to create a new project like the one i have created next you must have account with open ai and you should have access to open ai api key so if you go on top right corner you will see view api keys you can create your api key from there once you log in on replit.com you will see this kind of interface where you can see trending replit and you will see my replits and a create repl uh, button so i'll click on that i'll choose python programming language i'll say uh, whatsapp chat g p t i'll hit create replit if you are new to replit i have a video dedicated on how to use replit and in that i have shown how to create python flask demo application and you can find the link of that video in the description here first i'll create a folder src inside that i'll create a new file app.py i'll create one more folder not inside but outside uh, let's say helper inside that i'll create another file open ai underscore api dot py and one more sorry not folder file twilio underscore api dot py now i will go to this shell if you don't see shell you can click on plus button and search for shell and you can click on it and it will open a shell so i'll come here and i'll say pip install flask open ai uh, python hyphen dot env and twilio will need these packages so i'll hit enter meanwhile i'll go to a github repository created by me specially for this video and the link of this github repository is in the description i'll copy paste all the code from this uh, repository into replit one by one so i'll copy this main.py so this main.py is our entry point so inside main.py we will start our server and inside app.py we will write our server so here under src i have app.py so here i have written the server so i'll copy this and i'll write my server here so it's a basic flask application so these are the uh, apis that we are going to write chat completion and send message will create a flask app this is our our home route just to make sure that everything works and this is our twilio receive message route here uh, twilio will post request whenever a new message comes on our whatsapp number which is connected to twilio now when we receive a new message we will get the message and sender id and with the help of chat completion we will get a result and uh, if everything works well then we will send message back to the user uh, whatever chat completion provides us so now let me go back here and here inside helper 
I have OpenAI API key. So I'll copy this. OpenAI API. Here, uh, first, we'll import the modules that we need. Uh, we'll provide OpenAI API key. So for that, we need to uh, copy this key and go to the secrets. Here, I'll provide my secret. I will provide my key here, whatever you get from this API key. If you click on that, you will uh, you can create a new API key because you cannot use the existing one unless you have it. So I'll use my API key and I'll say add new uh, secret. So now this secret can be accessed. Here I have written a function which wraps uh, OpenAI package uh, chat completion API. So we get a response and response will have choices and it will have choices will be array and on the on the zeroth index we will have message key and inside we have content so for just example i can show it to you as well so we will let me print the response so we will see the response whenever it comes and uh, now inside twilio api i will write a function that will call twilio api and that will uh, that will be used by us to send a message to the user so here again uh, we need to create uh, two uh, secret variable uh, twilio s id okay i'll create first and i'll update my value once uh, you know uh, this is over now uh, here we'll use twilio package python package uh, to send a message okay and this number will be your number if you are using sandbox this will be the same number otherwise you can change your number based on your you know whatsapp business account uh, number now i'll go to twilio here i have my account s id and auth token i will quickly update those so now i have updated all my three environment variable and provided my credential make sure these are sensitive information so you don't show it to anyone you don't trust now i will uh, i will run the code hopefully we will see uh, it working uh, okay it says um, unindented okay sorry so i think this is oh it says unindented sorry yeah so if i save this sorry for that if i save this hopefully if i run it yeah our server is running and if i click on this plus and if i search for web view i'm not sure why i did not i see web view oh sorry i just missed few things is that we need to provide a host here and that will be 0 .0 .0 .0 .0. And a port number that will be 5000. And if I now save this, and if I go here, console, and rerun it again, yeah, now we see the web view and we'll see the response as well. So now this will be our URL. And if I come here, so we have this URL followed by Twilio receive message as our URL. So I'll click on this URL. Yeah, so the URL is working. Now I come here and I'll copy this. So this will be my full URL. Okay. Yeah, it will be say method not allowed, but that's okay. Now I'll go to Twilio inside explore products i'll choose messaging 
inside i'll say uh, try it out and there will be uh, send a whatsapp message i'll click on that and there is a sandbox setting i'll click on this when a new message comes in i'll provide my url i will save it and if i go to sandbox again you can see that this is my phrase join determine i'll copy this so when i send a message jo uh, join uh, my phrase to twilio number so this is the number you have to save it and when i send a message here it will say that now your sandbox is connected to this number and you can interact with that so now if i say hi that message will come here if i go to the console that message will come here and yeah we got a response as well hello there how may i assist you today obviously it is coming from chat gpt and if i come here you can see this is the response that uh, chat gpt uh, returned so it has choices choices is a list inside there is a message property of the first object obviously and it has content which is this and that is what we have shown here if i say uh, write me a poem i'm not sure why it did not come to yeah okay i think my internet was slow for a bit so this is the poem that it has written and it it seems nice so i hope uh, this is informative to you and in order to follow this tutorial and even you know uh, use it you don't have to you know download any programming language or write code or anything you can just come here um, to my github repository copy the content uh, from this repository into your replit and you will uh, good to go so i hope uh, this video uh, is informative to you and you are now able to connect whatsapp and chat gpt on the platform uh, replit if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps thank you for watching peace